Okay guys, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to hit the perfect 60 mile an hour forehand. And I want you to get super excited about that. I know we get excited when we have the idea maybe to hit a serve over 100 miles an hour and it's really impressive when you watch TV and sometimes those pros hit their forehand even 90, 100 mile an hour. But as that is a pursuit of way more matches, you're going to be crying in the locker room because you're going to be losing more matches than you're winning and you probably will not be able to get the ball that fast anyway. So why not develop a 60 mile an hour forehand that you can hit over and over again so you can rely on in the matches and just frustrate your opponent, they can't attack you and you're just that rock solid player at the club that never seems to lose. So I'm going to walk you through some things that we want to be doing to hit a 60 mile an hour forehand. So I'm going to get the ball machine going and the first thing that I want to do as the drone's coming, the first thing that I want to start getting is my height. I want to lock in to a height of the ball. That's going to help me get a 60 mile an hour forehand mastered. So I'm really liking the height of every shot I've hit so far and if I could stay in this zone I don't think many people would beat me. Another thing I want you to notice is I'm choosing cross court over down the line. Why is that? Well, let's take some down the line. What if I'm late when I go down the line? Look where the ball goes. Wide. I'm a little late. I want to hit down the line winners. Oh my gosh, I'm late. So even though I'm hitting that six mile an hour forehand, sometimes I'll make it, sometimes I'll miss it. What happens if I'm a little late when I'm going cross court? So I'm really, when I'm going cross court, guess what? That was late, the ball's still in the court. That's really late, I'm trying to hit cross court though. Ball's still in the court. My point is, you have to be very, very late, very, very late if you're gonna miss a ball wide when you're trying to go cross court. So you can make a high percentage of shots. You're hitting over the lowest part of the net. Also, sometimes you're gonna accidentally hit a great angle and get your opponent moving off into the doubles court. Get them running. So that's another thing. Okay. Also, with a 60 mile an hour forehand, you want to be swinging anywhere between 60 to 80% of your max racket head speed. When you do that, you'll be able to make a lot of shots. Okay. If you're swinging too slow, if you slow it down, they start to fly. This is how when you get choky, right? You're like trying to control it. Look how they're going out. Look how they fly more the slower I go. The more I go faster, all of a sudden instantly, I'm bringing that ball right back down in the play. So that's another thing. If you start to swing at 90 or 100% racket at speed, you can make some great sh shots like I am right now but every now and then, one's gonna fly out like that just did. So you get about 60, 80% of your max racket at speed. Last tip, use your off hand. Notice this whole time, I've been setting up with that off hand as I'm hitting, set off with that off hand. If I don't use it, I can start to get all cramped. Look at that. A lot of people don't use their off hand. They get crampy, they get army. It's only a matter of time before one flies. Okay, so get that set and hit that ball and love, love tennis. And if you love this video and you love the drone, definitely also check out my man, William. We'll put his YouTube channel below. He's the one shooting this video with the drone and everything. But like this video, subscribe and work on your perfect 60 mile an hour forehand if you wanna be unbeatable in your next tennis match. See you guys.